Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about securing things to the top of your vehicle or something along those lines and making it from point A to point B without any problems or issues. As you see, I have this 10 to 18 foot extension ladder strapped to the top of my car and I actually just drove 18 and a half miles with it, 14 of which was on the freeway. I want to start off by saying the number one priority, of course, is the safety of others. You want to get this from point A to point B without it coming off, coming loose, sliding off your vehicle and landing in the road where somebody may hit it immediately. So take that into consideration. Secondly, you don't want to damage the equipment or your vehicle. So as you can see, I had some thick moving style padding to put in between the equipment and the surface of my vehicle. And I also used very strong tie straps that are rated to exceed the weight of what I'm moving. Now, I use tie straps that are rated to carry and move 3,000 pounds, and they have a self-locking latch on them that I strap it through. I tied it to my tow hitch on my vehicle, and then I strapped it through the ladder a couple of times. Now, that is the primary stability strap that I could watch from the front of the vehicle. If that starts to come loose, I know I got a problem. Number two, I tied the top of it down with another one of those 3,000 pound straps that went across the vehicle and that helped me know that it was be held down against the vehicle. You could go a couple times at any rate. It also has one of those self-locking pull-through latches as you can see in the middle where I pull the strap through, tie it, as a secondary precaution measure and that is secure holding the thing from flying up in the air in case my primary tie comes loose. Then my third tie down was in the back. I used a 10,000 pound rated strap and I secured that to the back of the vehicle on my tow hitch. I went through there a couple of times, went around the back of the ladder a couple of times and tied it off in the back and that's just to hold the back steady. So with those three methods, this uh, item should go nowhere. Again, you want to try to avoid damaging the vehicle and scratching it. So you want to put some padding in between it and the paint of your vehicle. Putting the wagon to work, I'm borrowing an extension ladder to get my daughter some local free TV. So gosh, I guess it's probably a 20 foot ladder. 10 foot and extends another 8 foot or so so hopefully I don't have any issues getting this back to her place I'm here now I'm going to go ahead and take it off and use the ladder if you feel that this information was useful please like it and share it with your social media friends you can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post you can follow me on Twitter and if you need to contact me directly please visit my website and if you have any questions, leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.